Okay, I want you to notice, I'm going to show you on just these two views here, how I have only cross-pinned one stick in place on each end. The reason why I did this is because when I, wa I wanted to go ahead and cut my horizontal pieces, making sure they're all the same length, before I put my fourth stick in place. By doing this, it helps ensure that we're going to have a nice, close to perfect rectangle with each view. So what I want to do is I'm going to slide my stick to the end right here where it's pinned in place. Once again, mark right where the line ends going straight through here. And again, I want a guide piece for my horizontal lines. Now by doing this, I can take my scissors, make that first cut. And once again, blade of the scissors going straight down and put that in place to make sure it fits. I need one, two, three, four, eight total, again, because we have four views with two horizontal lines each. So once again, I'm going to do the same method where I line up the line, the stick, with the end, right on the end here. There's the end of my mark right there, and make another cut straight through. So then I know that my horizontal lines for every one of my views will be the same length. So again, line up the ends as close as you possibly can. Put the scissors right on the end of your stick and make a straight cut straight through for the remaining views. Now at this point, we want to go ahead and glue these pieces in place and then pin them as well. So with your glue, we're going to put a little bit of glue in the glue lid and I normally my rule is about the size of a dime because this is wood glue and it dries fast please close the lid on the glue bottle when you're not using it take your stick and we're going to do step one of the four step gluing process step one is to dip both ends of the glue or the wood in the glue and then just set it in place when you've done this to both ends then we can go ahead and go back and take our vertical piece that we originally cut for stage one, slide it in place, and now when everything is straight, we can go ahead and cross pin our pieces together. So we're going to take our cross pins and pin it in place. Do the same amount of pinning on one side as you did the other. So again, here I want one pin in the top one set of pins at the bottom and one set of pins in the center. Do this for the remaining three views and then we'll talk about the rest of the four-step gluing process.